Father's Day is around the corner and I wanted to give everyone an idea of something that you can do that's not only really cheap but super cute with your toddler to give to that father figure in their life. In this video, I'm going to show you a very cheap and easy tutorial on how to make a handmade craft for Father's Day. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jenny. I am a teacher, mom, and doctoral student studying early childhood education and expecting baby number two in July. And in this video, I wanted to show you all about how I'm making a heartfelt Father's Day craft for my husband from my daughter for his second Father's Day. My daughter's currently 15 months old, but I feel like this activity could be done anywhere from where baby's able to sit up all the way up to two to three years old, and you can just have them be involved in more of the steps at that point. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a tree that's basically a tree that my daughter's able to paint, and it's gonna have a cute quote on the bottom of it, and it actually says, I made this tree so you'll always know I'll love you forever no matter how much I grow. So that's gonna be written on the bottom of it. I'll actually put a picture of the finished product right here, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I do that, and I am not artistic or an artist, so if you feel like you are not crafty, that is completely fine. I, sewing is my thing, drawing is not my thing, but that's okay, and it actually makes it a little bit better when it's a little bit more from the heart. So let me show you exactly how I'm gonna be doing that. First things first, let me show you the materials that you need in order to complete this project. You're gonna need a canvas. So I got this little canvas from Dollar Tree, and it was literally a dollar. You'll also need some paints and a paintbrush. I got this green paint that is washable from Dollar Tree as well. That was also a dollar. I got it washable because, and it's also non-toxic, because my daughter's gonna be using it. It will be in a plastic bag, but I just wanted to mention that I did get non-toxic paint for her. You also will need some brown paint. I got this little brown paint. I'll be doing the brown paint part. You will need painter's tape. And finally, you'll need a marker or some sort of dark line to be able to write the text. So let me show you how I started this project. Okay, so the first thing that I did is actually draw with pencil the outline of what I was trying to do with the tree. So you'll actually notice that I have some pencil marks here still, but I'm gonna be covering them with paint, so it really doesn't matter. I sketched it out in pencil because I am left-handed, I am not good with drawing, and I just wanted to make sure I had it as best that I could before we actually get started with it with my daughter. So I drew it out with pencil, and then I went over it with a Sharpie. So I drew the tree outline here. I just drew a tree outline. My daughter's gonna be painting the green all at the top here. And then I wrote my quote here from Alice for 2021. Again, you probably have much better handwriting than I do, but it says, I made this tree so you'll always know I'll love you forever no matter how much I grow. Love Alice 2021. Now that my tree is outlined, I'm gonna actually be painting the brown part. And once the brown part dries, I'm gonna be taping it off. So let's go ahead and paint the brown part. need a freezer size bag for. You're gonna need a freezer bag in order to put your whole artwork in to make sure that this is all mess free. So I'm just gonna slide this in here just like this. And I'm gonna be squirting paint inside of here for Alice to push around and I'm gonna seal the side here. So that way there's no mess.
you're gonna wanna let this paint dry completely before you peel any of the tape. So for me, it's actually gonna take probably all night for it to dry because it's kinda thick. My daughter didn't really swish it around quite as much as I thought she would, but um, we're gonna leave it on overnight and then we are going to check in back on it in the morning. What you could do is you could take some red paint, dip your little fingers in them, and put apple tree dots onto the tree as well. For me, I'm probably just gonna leave it as is because it is my daughter's beautiful creation for her dad and I think it's perfect the way that it is, even though it's a little bit messy. Also, if you're looking for ways to make this a little bit cleaner, if you're a meticulous person and you wanted to make this a little cleaner, you could either vinyl cut or print out a, a stencil of a tree trunk and then actually paint your child's hands green and then just do a hand print. And you could do that with babies that are really little too. So it's an option for slightly younger babies if they're not quite ready to pat down paint. As you saw, Alice was not quite sure about patting down paint, but I thought she did a pretty good job. It smeared around pretty well and I just had to help her just a little bit. I hope this gives you a really cheap and easy idea for something that's sweet and heartfelt that you could do for the father figure in your child's life. And I hope that it gives you an idea too of how to do some mess-free paint crafting as well. I've seen lots of cool ideas with painter's tape and just dipping those different colors into the bag to let baby push around without making a mess. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm gonna be doing all sorts of new parent content, tech reviews, and of course, craft projects for my 15 month old and also for my newborn once she is here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.